Yeah, I'm happy about this opener. Let's let him go. We can hold up prohibits and disfigures for their next couple plays. If this is a hyper aggressive deck, we're in good shape. It's Boros Monarch. All right, guys. This is going to be tough. I think I was talking about earlier how I think this deck has worse matchups against decks that are good against one for ones. If they, if they, um, If they play one of their artifacts here, which they likely will against a slower deck, we're going to wait until next turn for our prohibit. Uh, actually, countering their artifact is probably pretty okay. Okay, we'll circular logic here. Or sorry, we'll accumulate knowledge. Still got tribe on the brain. <laughs> See what they're holding up. Find an auger. They're probably playing around prohibit. Okay, let's play auger just so they can make our land drop. Oh, uh, maybe we don't, though. They're probably trying to resolve... No, it's it's just too important to hit our land drops. We got a good amount of counter spells for other critical plays. So let's auger. They might kill it. That's okay. Huh. I think prohibits better against this deck than Chainer's Edict or Tragic Slip. So we'll go ahead and get rid of those and make our land drop. Pick up our swamp, and I feel like we're in pretty good shape next turn. From next turn on, if this is Prophetic Prism Glint Hawk, then we're kind of not in very good shape. That Dismal Backwater wasn't awesome there. Not even remotely awesome there. <laughs> they're not gonna. They're no plays. My goodness. All right. Okay. Well, this this is still kind of awkward because we don't can't make any plays and still have. The counter spells online that we want to be online but we're not discarding to hand size or anything so let's try to answer their board next turn as well as we can having two blue mana tied up in dismal backwater or dismal demir aqueduct feels pretty bad they that's what they that's exactly what they could be waiting for they could be trying to resolve two two spells in one turn here or they could just have a very bad hand they might or they might be trying to soak up some counter spells get their monarch through because I feel like Monarch is pretty good against us. I feel like Monarch is very good against us. All right, let's see what this is. Come on, just jam Palace Sentinels. And then I'll kill it, and then I'll become the Monarch, and life will be good. Do it. <laughs> Aw, come on. That would have been sweet. <laughs> okay, they're going to cycle a Forgotten Cave. Yep. Not a whole lot of red sources over there. We're probably going to auger this turn. We want a blue source pretty bad. There's Glintock. Sure. And we will disfigure that straight away. Yep. And they won't return anything. All right, cool. We get the turn back. Land. Preordain. I feel like leaving up, yeah, I'm just going to get in. We might have to go shields down for a second. Prohibit probably won't be good enough. Like if they, well, if they do get Palace Sentinels down. No, it's too, it's just too good if they get Palace Sentinels down. All right, pass. They get, they'll get away with it way too fast. I'm happy leaving up answers here. I feel like... If they're glint talking and not getting any value off of it, then they're just going to start dumping their hand trying to find stuff. Yeah, we're going to have to counter this. Um, let's prohibit while we have the opportunity. And then if they cast another one, we can prohibit that too. I'm not worried about their other, like their other two mana plays are fine. We have another prohibit in hand. Yeah, that's cool. I got another one of those. <laughs> yep, okay. Own it on one land. So if they play out a Glintock, we can disfigure it here. They're just gonna pass. All right, lands. Auger, okay. I'm gonna preordain here instead of Auger. I'm gonna look for land drops. Just leaving up, um, ugh. Well, I'm gonna bottom this and top this. And I'm not going to run this out main phase. I'm going to pass. We're going to leave up Prohibit for another core Skyfisher. 
That card's pretty good, good against a, uh, a Disfigure. So we have to counter core Skyfisher. There comes Battle Screech. Ugh. Yep. Okay, let's accumulate a knowledge. Well, okay. At least we can deal with their birds before they can start flashing stuff back. This doesn't feel super good though. We will F6. We did find our land, but it's a little bit slow. Not going to um, tap out a counter spell. If they get another battle screech off, we're in pretty bad shape. <laughs> Gotta handle them birds. <laughs> You're right, you're right. They're gonna get in for one. One I'm playing a lot faster than us too. Gotta be wary of it. Gotta be wary of those fast birds. Ain't got no time for fast birds. Um, yeah, sure. And let's go ahead and doom blade that. Uh, actually, no, I can wait till my end of turn to do that. We might find a reason to uh, to need to hard counter something here, like if they play a three mana spell. Yep, I guess we can prohibit a three mana spell, but we can still, like, we can counter that and Doom Blade there. Yeah, okay. So let's Doom Blade this. Fair amount of mana left up. We gotta find some action here, gang. Well. <laughs> All right, let's Bolas. Augur, Bolas. Yep. Come on in. We find Echoing Decay. That's pretty great here, but Accumulated Knowledge is probably better. Just a draw three on the end of their turn. God, it's so hard to give up this Accumulated Knowledge. I want to draw three so bad. But Echoing Decay is great against this deck if they like get another... Yeah, I'm going to take Echoing Decay. As much as I hate it, I know they can play around it and stuff. So we have Counterspell, Echoing Decay up here. I'm not going to counter the first. If they want to Battle Screech, Flashback Battle Screech, like if that's, if that's what the plan is here, then all the power to them. I will also hard... Well, maybe I'll let Monarch Resolve. No, I can't do that. So they try to become the Monarch. I'll have to do something about that. Yep. Picking up your land, floating your mana. Got it. What's this? Or Skyfisher, Journey to Nowhere. Yep, don't care about that. Gonna get journeyed. Going on an epic journey. And we're just never gonna tap out for the rest of our lives. Forbidden Alchemies are gonna start being kind of sweet here. Gurmog Angler would be sweet. Why don't I have a... Okay. So, what do we find? Swamp. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Swamp is like the worst draw <laughs> in our whole deck. <laughs> See what we find off of Augur. Preordain. Bunch of blue sources that I would love to have in my hand. Pass it on over to them. Ugh, okay. <laughs> Pretty fine, taking my time here. Alchemist Vial, sure. One Alchemist Vial isn't a big deal. Radiant Fountain, yep. And getting in with the Burb. No spells played. Yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. What do we have here? Do they forget about my echoing okay? Are they gonna battle screech? Come on. Let it happen. Feels good, man. Um, we'll chainers edict. And start getting in with our auger. I might preordain here. No, I can't preordain. Yep. Happy to eat whatever amount of removal you'd like. 
Got two pretty good counters up this turn. What's this? Sure. Um, no, actually, I can't let that resolve because I don't have an answer to it. So I will counter it. And we can prohibit whatever the next play is. Hopefully we can prohibit whatever the next play is. Yep, turn comes back. We can risk a preordain here, I believe. Ooh, there's forbidden alchemy. Okay, so I'm I'm actually going to I'm actually gonna pass. That lets us leave up more counter magic, and it means we can just forbidden alchemy on the end step if they uh if they don't do anything. There's Glint Hawk. Yeah. Sure. I can echoing decay that. <laughs> my cat's on my table knocking over deck boxes right now. <laughs> Gotta handle them birds. <laughs> Here comes Alchemist Files. So let's prohibit that. Like this. See what their follow up is. They don't have a follow up, it doesn't look like. So I'm going to alchemy here. Just one sec. My cat has this habit of just being a complete douche. Um, oh, accumulated knowledge or Grimog Angler? I think I'm gonna take accumulated knowledge and cast it right now. So accumulated knowledge, give it a cast. And we'll probably flashback Edict on their turn. Nice, okay. So can we flashback one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? We can't flashback Edict and leave up any kind of removal or counter magic, so I actually think I'm just gonna bazooka bog them and uh and pass it over. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna bog them. And that way next turn we can edict and uh we can edict pretty safely while leaving up counter magic. Stop their monarch boy from coming down. They'll eventually forget about our preordain. <laughs> that I should have cast right there, actually. Weak. Weak plays, team. Weak plays all around. Here comes Golintok. Yep. Pop out my graveyard here. This is going to kind of become crucial. We have alchemy that we could flash back, I guess. Probably do that if they don't do anything I care about here. Yeah. Okay, so let's flashback alchemy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right? No, seven, okay. Flashback alchemy, get some more cards in the bin. Uh, I'll take the angler this time. It's time to turn up the heat. Um, I'm going to backwater. And we will Gurm Angler, getting rid of some cards in our graveyard. So one, two, three, four, five, six, black. And we get to leave up our counter magic again. Um, I'm going to preordain here as well. <laughs> Who's that? Who's that, Sunrez? Uh, I will top this and uh bottom this dryer forbidden alchemy and we pass we are turning the corner organically as was suggested <laughs> see what our opponent wants to do we've only got one counter spell up this turn that feels kind of weak glint hawk sure yep so i'm probably going to echoing decay on attacks here replays their land Journey to nowhere. Okay. So let's counter that. Um, do we even? Yeah, let's counter that. We probably want this Gurmag Angler to stay. Like this. And then pay blue. We use this other black mana to Echoing Decay their birds. Getting that mana efficiency. And if they get the Monarch here, we're kind of in bad shape. Okay, they'll go Vanic Blast, Gurmag Angler. 
You're going to like 100 for one yourself on a Gurmag Angler? That's probably not a good strat opponent. Okay. Cool. Well, we just have to find it. <laughs> just have to find another Gurmag Angler and get to work. <laughs> so let's alchemy. Try to find how many anglers are in our bin. We have two anglers in the bin. We have, yeah, we've milled two anglers. Okay, so let's alchemy. Yep. One, two, three. Jcon style. Who's Jcon style? Um, find another alchemy, bin the rest of the stuff. Alchemy. Come on, Angler. 17 cards in the library. Okay, there's Angler. Play out Angler. Um, yeah, we can play out another blue source here. So I'm going to play out this black mana, actually. Tap this black mana. Gurmog Angler. Do it like this. And we have counter magic up to defend our Angler. Pay for a black. Go ahead, opponent. Come on, play Palace Sentinels. <laughs> That'd be sweet. We can Ghastly Demise it, steal a Monarch, mill out. <laughs> 14 minutes on clock, game one. <laughs> There's Prophetic Prism, gonna get a redraw. Yep. Sure. Not a ton of cards in our library here. We gotta be wary of that. Sends Enlistment. It's a pretty good draw there, opponent. Um, yeah, I'll counter that. I don't want to go wasting removal spells or Chainer's Edicts on stuff I don't care about. Did I, like... No, I didn't exile them. Okay. Sends Enlistment has been countered. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Alright, let's get in with Angler. Yep. And then we're going to preordain Kitty. Kitty time. Is my cat back there causing a ruckus? It, it does cause a ruckus. Almost always. If there is ruckus to be caused, consider it ruckus. All right, pass the turn. Another counterspell in hand. Forbidden Alchemy is to flash back. Although I don't know if I want to be milling four <laughs> unless they find an answer for our angler that we can't do anything about. See what this is. Flashing back sends enlistment. Yeah, we'll counter that. And keep getting in with Angler. Just keep hoping. Play land. Get in with Angler. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we're one land drop off of two flashback Chainer's Edicts here. Did I did I exile Chainer's Edicts? No, okay, so we still got lots of removal in our deck. Just find another land for their Sens Enlistment. They gotta start chump blocking, so Alchemist File, sure. Yep. If they find a bounce creature, I might uh I might try to find a way to deal with it. But I'm not gonna flash back these alchemies yet. I think it's it's too risky, considering how many cards we have in our library. Well, we got a chainer's edict in hand now, that's pretty good. We're on mono removal, trying to kill them with four Gurmag Angler. <laughs> three more attacks, just three more attacks. Okay, they're gonna fog the angler. You may. Got about a million edicts. <laughs> Opponent's still drawing two cards in hand. What did they draw? They, I guess they drew a card off Alchemist File. One, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, we don't have any more counter spells in our deck. That's not great. <laughs> I'm going to Ghastly Demise this core Skyfisher. And it's going to return a Prophetic Prism. I wonder if this is a deck you bring in um, Negate against, probably, for like Journey to Nowhere Prophetic Prism. Like they're, yeah, I think Negate comes in here. This figure is probably okay. I'm trying to think of what cards are bad against this deck. We only have 12 minutes, so our next game's gotta be pretty fast. All right, let's get in with the Angler. 
no reason in the whole world to alchemy here. I guess we have one more Gurmog angler. We should probably get another angler at one, two. Huh. Okay, I think I'm going to alchemy. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm looking for another Gurmog angler. So that hopefully we can assure our victory here. There's another angler. Play out another angler. We can't, we're locked out of uh, <laughs> ever doing that again. So we just gotta go like this and hope they don't find a bunch of answers over the next couple turns. Do not let me cast an accumulated knowledge. <laughs> I probably could have done that one turn earlier, but we have lethal now so long as they don't find an answer. They have a lot of ways that they could answer it. A creature to block isn't an answer. Ah, uh, that's pretty good. But we can Chainer's Edict, Flashback Chainer's Edict. A white creature here would really suck. I shouldn't have tapped out there. Okay, so Chainer's Edict, you. I'm not gonna get punished. Hi, Abs, glad you made it home. Are you okay? Yeah, okay, good. All right, flashback Chainer's Edict on our opponent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we got a Tragic Slipping Ant. They don't like have any instant speed or flash creatures, so. Well, we still got to try to win game two in 11 minutes. <laughs> That's going to be a challenge. Get in with the Angler, boys, and hopefully this means we win. Yeah, come on. No two galvanic blasts. We did it. Okay. Cool. So this deck has a whole bunch of non-creature spells we care about. So I'll bring in negates. And I'll bring in shrivels. And I'll bring in hydro blasts. So actually, I don't know if I care that much about their red spells. <laughs> yeah, I don't care very much about their red spells. Oh, but they'll bring in pyroblasts. So I am gonna bring hydro blasts in. So hydro blasts, negates. Prohibit hits everything in their deck, um, and shrivels. I just feel like we have a good matchup going here. We have Echoing Decay as well. So what do we take out, right? This figure doesn't kill... Um, I think we take out like our one-for-one one stuff. So maybe, what are we bringing in? We're bringing in like just more answers to their stuff. You might bring Geists in for their Galvanic Blasts, or their Pyro Blasts. It's probably a good idea. <laughs> I'm gonna have to win fast, too. I don't know what I take out, though. This is, this is kind of tough. Like, figuring out the cuts. That seemed to go pretty well. Maybe Shrivel isn't that great. I gotta bring in Nihil Spell Bombs, too, for their... Huh. Man, this is... So I could probably shave some stuff. Probably cut... I have more efficient counter spells now, so I could cut two counters. Stonewall's Battle Screech. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're totally right. So I'll take out an Angler for a Geist for sure. Maybe even have a couple Anglers for Geists. Now that we have more answers to their enchantments. We don't have we don't actually have more answers for their enchantments. I gotta make six cuts somewhere. <laughs> I don't think Tragic Slip does enough. I think we take out the Tragic Slips for the Shrivels. And I might just go down these Disfigures altogether. Probably want Chainer's Edicts. We probably want Doom Blades. And we could probably go down one Augurabolas, because we're bringing in Nihil Spell Bombs, I guess. That doesn't seem like a great reason to get rid of, Nih <laughs> to get rid of Augurabolas. Don't bring in Spell Bomb? All right. Geist over Spell Bomb. I believe you. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Saves our Anglers. Um, all right. So we have a couple more threats. Augur's worse now. Augur isn't that much worse, though. Uh, maybe it is. It stonewalls the Sens Enlistment tokens. I think this is okay. We have to win in 11 minutes. <laughs> Incoming some non-trivial decisions about how fast I play. Um, This hand's fine. I'll keep. I don't have a ton of time to think about it, really. And we'll six through their turn.
Run out that T1 11 minute dream. Okay, so we don't have to run out Bazooka Bog yet. That's nice. Okay, go like this. Leave up Counterspell next turn. If they play Artifact this turn, we'll leave up Counterspell. Like they're... They play like a Prophetic Prism or something. Yeah, so we want to leave up Counterspell for next turn. They could still have Glinthawk, which kind of sucks. Maybe Shrivel was worse against this deck than I thought. I'll also negate just another card draw artifact. Okay, what's going on here? Windscarred Crag. Play a Core Skyfisher. No Core Skyfisher. We don't have any accumulated knowledges to capitalize on that. Um, okay, so I think I'm just going to play a Bajooka Bok here because we could start hitting. Well, never mind. Found something to help us if they're not doing anything. All right, opponent, you're going to continue not doing anything? Being on the not doing anything plane is probably fine against this hand, honestly. <laughs> okay. Yep. Opponent going to pass. Do you guys like accumulated knowledge or think twice better? I've, I've only played a couple of think twice decks and I like them a lot. There's another land, untapped land, giving us an opportunity to leave up what we want. Okay, so let's play Augur here. Um, yeah, let's play Augur. And we can still leave up Counterspell for the Monarch. I like Think Twice a lot too. When I, I, always, I always think twice about my deck building decisions if I'm not playing Think Twices. Play Doomblade. Or grab Doomblade, not necessarily play Doomblade. This is going to be one of those times, like if they if they play monarch, the Monarch or they, if they get the Monarch here, I might just let them have, oh, never mind. Now nah, we won't protect that. Go ahead. Yep, your turn. Accumulated Knowledge does seem nuts though. I guess I bottomed quite a few a, uh, quite a few spells there, but yeah, that's fine. We can Doomblade that at the end of our turn. If they don't play anything else we care about countering. They're going to pick up the Alchemist Vial. Getting that off the battlefield is good, too. This is really bad against Echoing Decay if we find it. I'm going to pass all the way through. Um, I'll counter that. Uh, I'll negate it, actually. There we go. Negated. A Null would, be, would feel pretty good here. I wonder if they're just going to play another Glinthawk. Now they're going to pick up a land. Okay, turn comes back to us. We have three cards in our bin. Um, we want to leave up Counterspell. Let's Preordain. If we can find Echoing Decay here for the next couple of flyers, that'd be sweet. I'm going to keep both of these, probably. I think I'm going to put Forbidden Alchemy all the way on top, though. Um, because we can, if that's really critical, we can always... Uh, if Hydroblast is really critical, we can always keep it off this Forbidden Alchemy. This way we leave up a couple of good things to do. Here comes Glintok. I don't know if I'll find any better Doomblade targets, so I think I might just do this here. We're not really doing anything else with our mana. And this way we'll draw into our, our Forbidden Alchemy. Let me counter your Battle Screech and then Bajooka Baga next turn. That'd be pretty rad. Oh, hell yeah. Oh no, it's just Palace Sentinels. Okay, we don't, have, we don't immediately have a way to deal with that, so I'm going to do this. Encounter it. And then play our Gurmog Angler next turn. Oh, it's going to Hydroblast. Okay, or Pyroblast. Sure, okay. We're not great against Palace Sentinels, team. <laughs> Especially not on this board. Okay. So. Opponent has manufactured a pretty good board state over there. Oh yeah, Hydroblast. Just a second too slow. All right, so let's Gurmangler. We're going to exile a bunch of cards. Um, like so. And I think we're just going to Bazooka Bog. Oh, man. Let's just Bazooka Bog them. We've got Shrivel for their tokens. So we'll Bajooka Bog them and let them go. We can Forbidden Alchemy at the end of their turn if we want to. Counter a red spell that we care about. If there's a red spell that we care about. Yeah, both are great spells. I, I do like do like Accumulated Knowledge and Forbidden Alchemy. There's Glintok. What's she going to pick up? Palace Sentinels? That'd be smart. 
Pick up Palace Sentinel, sandbag it. No. Just gonna pick up a land. Alright, what's this? Journey to nowhere. Yep. It's not good. Gotta feed my kids, Jeff. <laughs> I know, Nick, I'm trying. I'm trying to win. I've been trying. But they're really turning the corner here. I might not have played that ideally. I don't feel like Shrivel is pulling its weight here. I feel like that jerk outside with the motorcycle is <laughs> putting in a lot of effort to tilt me out here. All right, let's see what this is. Artifact, Core Skyfisher picking up Artifact. Because that would suck. <laughs> All right, let's forbid Alchemy. Try to find some manageable way to close out this game. Ooh, sparkling vodka. Fancy guy. Oh, God. Okay, let's take accumulated knowledge, bin accumulated knowledge. That'll give us a pretty good, that'll give us a draw three for next turn. Looking for a few more answers. All right, counterspell in hand. Let's accumulate a knowledge, draw three. Leave our counterspell online. Try to get a Gurmangler down. Find a Doomblade for this guy. I guess we can leave Hydroblast up. Let's Augur a Bolas. And then try to use Doomblade and Hydroblast to steal the Monarch from them at some point. They're going to cycle a Secluded Step. Yep. We'll go look for another card, another removal spell, hopefully. I'll take an Angler, too. If we get an Angler, we just cast it. That's pretty rad. Mine of Forbidden Alchemy. I'm fine with that. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> Sounds good, man. Sounds good. What kind of spark? What's your, what's your full recipe? What do y'all got in there? What do you got in there? It's got to be tons to it, right? Umberlurk's just drooling about it. All right, gang. <laughs> How are we going to do this now? Opponent is picking up a land. We have a prohibit for a creature spell. We'll see what their attacks look like. Pineapple, Mandarin, Orange. Hell yeah. Playing around everything. Like you would. Okay, so let's try to Doomblade this Palace Sentinels before anything can get out of hand. And then hopefully we draw a removal spell for that Glenhawk. Protect our Augur with Hydroblast. They draw a card. Got a lot of counter magic in hand, but we're just not getting very far without, uh, without another removal spell here. I might forbid knock me for another removal spell. Dismal Backwater. Okay, so let's forbid knock me. Try to find that removal. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right, let's take Gurm Angler. Play out Dismal Backwater. Maybe try to get him with a Shrivel here. And then play an Angler. I think I'm going to do that. All right. Go for attacks. Attack with Augur. No, we can't just run out Shrivel. We got to leave up this counter magic. They're going to block. All right. Sure. And we'll play in an angler. Hopefully they don't have their perfects over there. Do we have to get rid of some number of accumulated knowledges here? I think we just get rid of the first Forbidden Alchemy. We didn't manage to cast all of those last game, so I think that's probably the, the correct play. Now we just got to keep their board as clear as possible. We're okay with 1-1s. One Anything bigger than a 1-1, one -one, we're going to have to do something about. Gotta love seeing the gods. Oh yeah, man. That pineapple mandarin orange, you know what it is. <laughs> Nothing but goodness. We're, uh, we're looking pretty bad against a pyroblast here. I didn't think of that. If they have a pyroblast, we're in rough shape. Palace sentinels. Okay, let's try to counter that. See if they have the Pyroblast, but that'll put them off playing another creature next turn. Yeah, okay. Sure enough, they have it. They'll have to do some chumping if they want to save their Monarch. Unless they have a removal spell here. 
Get in with Glenhawk? Nah. They thought better. Draw another card from being the Monarch. Good for you, opponent. All right, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so let's get in with both. Let's see how they block. This might be reason enough to shrivel to try to just get rid of this Glindhawk. No, wait, the uh, kill a hawk or two. <laughs> just let Gurmag Angler get in. Just give us the Monarch, dude. Cool, okay. All right. Blocks like that. No blocks. Blocks like that. <laughs> and blocks like that. Okay. We've got one creature. We pretty much need a removal spell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's flash back this alchemy. Leave up blue mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, uh, I'm just going to take Accumulated Knowledge and draw four next turn. <laughs> Alright, pass the turn. Another Hydro Blast goes to the bin. And we're going to keep serving with Angler. Yep, Journey Hour Gurmog. Gotcha. Gotcha. You know what it is. <laughs> Everybody spam cool emojis in the chat. <laughs> yeah, spam those cool people emojis. Not going to get in with the Palace Sentinels. That is justified. Yep, yep. Okay, let's accumulate a knowledge. Draw a bunch of cards. I'm going to fight over this freaking accumulated knowledge tooth and nail. <laughs> Cycles of Forgotten Cave. Yep. And we draw a million cards. Um, let's Chainer's Edict. See if they have anything to say about that. We've got ways to defend our Augur now, too, which I feel pretty good about. We're going to be defending this Augur. <laughs> See what this is. Prismatic Strands. Okay, I'll negate that. Four minutes on clock. <laughs> Sack Alchemist Vial so that it can attack. Sure. All right, cool. And we will pass the turn with two counters up. Another Monarch or another uh, Palace Sentinels here isn't super great. Yeah, I really gotta, I really gotta start dealing damage here. It looks like our opponent isn't drawing much gas off of them being the, them being the Monarch, so that's good. We find a swamp. We'll play that. Let's preordain pre combat. See if we find any more answers to their answers. Or Gurmog Angler. Uh, Chainer's Edict can stay on top. Echoing Decay can also stay on top and come into our hand. Get in with Augur Bolas. Four minutes on the clock. <laughs> All right. What do you have, opponent? Will we win before we mill ourselves out? <laughs> Draw off of the Monarch ability. Look at me. I am the Monarch now. <laughs> Play the card Awkward Salmon. What the hell is an Awkward Salmon? Oh, no. Uh, there's Glint Hawk. I don't think I'm super worried. About, well, yeah, I'm not super worried about a Glint Hawk. See what they recur. I have a Chainer's Edict in hand, so it's not a big deal. <laughs> decreases opponent to 1 HP. That card sounds OP as hell. <laughs> Replays their land. Now what's this now? Something we can't deal with reasonably over the next two turns? We gotta, we gotta counter their core Skyfishers and stuff, which kind of sucks. Relic of Progenitus. Um, huh. We have one Edict in the graveyard? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I don't really care about that. All right, what's this? Anything? No. All right, so let's get in with all. Well, shoot. Um, 
All right, well, this is kind of awkward, but we have to echoing decay this now. There's no reason not to. Actually, there's there are a considerable number of reasons why you would not do that. <laughs> but uh, we have to do that there. More Glenhawks are going to make me feel kind of silly, but we've got mostly removal left in our deck. I'm going to try to find a, uh, a Gurmog Angler or another counter spell here because we got to turn this clock on. <laughs> They're going to sack Relic. Yeah, sure. We will Forbidden Alchemy. Just going on time efficiency alone. There's a Gurmog Angler, and we got a Chainer's Edict for our graveyard. Sweet. And we have a way to counter whatever spell they want to use to get rid of our Gurm Angler. So we'll do it like this, like this, like this. Uh, we got to tap a ton of mana for it. I guess we got Edicts to rely on. Um, so we'll go like this. Okay. <laughs> and pass the turn. So they're going to free turn to do whatever they want here, which probably wasn't the best play, considering they can just like journey to nowhere our Gurmog Angler and we don't have a lot to do. I probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> that wasn't safe. I was advised not to aggressively turn the corner, if at all possible. Journey? No, just Thraben Inspector. Yeah, that's cool. Drawing a card off the Raven Inspector. Five cards in hand. Alchemist file. Drawing a card going off. We gotta be the fastest <laughs> players on the whole planet here. <laughs> and what else did they find? Two spells to aim at Grimog Angler? Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's Chainer's Edict. And attack. Um, I'm going to play Augur Bolas as well. Augur still lets us have two counter, map counter spells up. <laughs> In comes Augur. Let's hit find. Nothing. Two Stormbound guys to the bottom of my library. Oh, that would have been sweet. Getting some Stormbound guys out. Garbage. Well, at least we know we'll draw them before the game ends. So long as we don't time out. I'm going to do some stuff. Sack Alchemist Vial and Augur. Yeah, sure. Get in. And F6. <laughs> um, actually, do I have another angler left? Uh no, I can't play it this turn without going shields down anyway, so I don't think I will. I don't think I can alchemy. I'll probably die. <laughs> Go ahead, opponent. I'm so low on all of these resources right now. <laughs> we really got to close this out so fast. Yes, you may. Always yield. <laughs> yep. Turn comes back. Island. Combat. Attack. <laughs> Dig for an angler preordain. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Oh, this is tense, guys. This is tense. So few minutes left. <laughs> they do have to find a lot of answers, or like, you know, they, they don't have to find that many answers for, for angler. So I'm going to find a way to protect, try to find a way to protect angler or another angler. Um, bottom, bottom. This will also put our Stormbound guys closer to the top. We'll pass. Dismal Backwater. Okay, two minutes on clock. Six cards in library. <laughs> we still have to attack approximately that many times to win. <laughs> oh, man. We only have three turns left, actually. I don't think there's any feasible way we can win unless we... Uh... Yeah, giving us the Monarch there might have been the best play. <laughs> there's a Prophetic Prism. Opponent also on the self mill plan. What's this? Core Sky Fisher. Okay. Yeah, no, that's okay. That's cool. I can edict that next turn. You're going to keep drawing stuff. My kids. <laughs> Is this a journey? Prophetic Prism. Yep. Oh my goodness. The <laughs> minute and 50 seconds. 
<laughs> the Raven Inspector, okay. Uh, okay. Yet another way we don't get in with Angler this turn. Uh, I almost should have countered that Thraven Inspector. Okay, end step. I'm not going to do anything, because Forbidden Alchemy will kill us. Play Dismal Backwater. Flashback Chainer's Edict. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And attack with the team. I don't know that we're going to be able to win this, guys. <laughs> I don't know that there's any actual way to win this game. <laughs> like, I don't know if we have enough cards in our deck or, like, life on the table. Like, <laughs> a minute and 21 seconds. Opponent's at 24. We're at four cards in library. So we're dead to our... We're dead to decking in two turns. We're going to Galvanic Blast. We will Hydro Blast that. We might get in a fight over this. I did pay blue. Okay. <laughs> okay, they're going to Galv Blast. I guess we have to counter that, too. <laughs> At least it's hard fought. I think we're dead, guys. I think we, like, milled ourselves to death. Somehow. <laughs> Opponent will eventually find a journey to nowhere. We're finding Stormbound Geists. But I don't think it'll be fast enough. We have to F6 here. Oh. <laughs> Lightning Bolt kills an auger. Turn comes back to us. Play a land. Can we win next turn? So if we play Stormbound Geist. I did. Play Stormbound Geist. And then attack them down to 19, 18. And then we can attack for 1, 6, 12. Oh, no, we're so close, but we're dead. <laughs> we're very close, but we're actually just dead. Like, if we kill our, uh, if we kill our own geists here. So I'm going to try it anyway. I'm going to see what happens. I'll see what happens, but I think we're dead. I think we're way dead. <laughs> 19 seconds on the clock. <laughs> oh, God, that was so close. But it's just, we're, that's game. Because we draw our card for turn, and then, yep, we draw our card for turn. And then we draw a card off being the Monarch. Yeah, we shouldn't have taken the Monarch there. Being the Monarch killed us. Sometimes it isn't. Sometimes you should just wait to be king. <laughs> we can't put any cards back in our library, so that's just GG's. About as close as we could come. Gromag Angler, last card in deck. One turn off, guys. Ugh. Ugh. That's it. We came very close. <laughs> That was only game two. <laughs> oh, I'm going to concede the match. <laughs> yeah, I want to play first. Zero seconds on the clock. <laughs> oh, God. That was a good game, though. That was close.